Hello, everybody. Welcome to Fan Expo and the debut of One Dollar Words, the interview game show. My name is Nug Nargang. How are you? I'm fine. Let's hear it, everybody. How you doing tonight? Our guest tonight, who I hope to take five dollars from, is Food Network host John Catucci. He can afford it. Uh, we're doing this for the first time ever, so sound like 400 people. Let's give it up. Welcome to One Dollar Words. I love it. This has an abrupt ending. There, it's over. Great. Hi, everybody. Welcome. My name is Nug Nargang. This is One Dollar Words, the interview game show. Interview podcasts are, uh, they have no stakes. And so I've put stakes on this, which I, by, I, by that I mean money. So uh, I'm going to take possibly $5 from our guest tonight. Uh, so I will get a list of, or John will get a list of uh, five random words given to us by a random word generator website. And then I will get a list. If John gets me to say any of the words on his list, he'll get a dollar for every word. But if I get him to say the words on my list, I get a dollar back. So upwards of $5 he can win, or he could lose five bucks tonight. So this is, stakes are huge. There's a range of $10. Uh, but I do want to keep us honest tonight, so I'm gonna ask somebody to, when we do get our words, to write down those words for us. And uh, we have everybody who is here, uh, their name is in a hat. We pull the name out of the hat, and there's an Esther Chung. Is there an Esther Chung here tonight? Esther, Esther Chung? Are you a winner? Don't look like you're not here. <laughs> Esther, can you come up and just keep us honest when we get our words? Esther, come on up here. Yes, es yes, I'm not kidding. Why would I specifically name you first and last name as a joke? Here, just keep us honest when we get our words. Just write them down. You don't know how, no, you don't. You just have to write words. Yeah, you can do math. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> Esther Chung, everybody, who happens to be here tonight. We'll get into... Uh, we'll get into a lot of things tonight with John, uh, not only a Food Network host, but also weirdly one of my oldest friends. Uh, and we'll talk about that, I'm sure. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome uh, your guest tonight uh, and contestant, uh, Food Network host, John Catucci, everybody. For the gram. I had to take pictures do for the gram. gram, gram, gram. So, gram, John, before gram, we get started, yes. uh, do you have your telephone? Your I infor do. information I phone? I have my information Great. phone. Uh, we go to the website, and to keep us honest as well, not only is Esther going to write down these words, but because if you shake your phone or go away from the site, the words <laughs> scramble again, and you yes. get five new words. Okay. So we're going to screenshot, too, so we have our words. And how do... How will you inform the audience your words without me knowing what your words so this is as the, you're informing the audience? So I have what audience. we call a soundproof booth, oh. which is uh, headphones hooked up to my iPad. Uh, your choice of song. Yeah. Uh, uh, by that I mean two songs. Yes. You can pick Two Princes by the Spin Doctors. Sure. Or you can or you can pick Susudio by Phil Collins. Oh. Both, Either one. Both, both are great. very great. Both, so, great both are songs. really good songs. So uh, let's get you uh, hooked up on this. Let me make sure. Yep. There you go. Okay, and I'm gonna get my words. Okay, here we go. Yeah, great. This is what I was afraid of. Okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Here are my words. Uh, Esther Chung, please write these words down. I know John can't hear me. Screenshot, here we go. These are the words. Professional, conspiracy, ash, spectrum, and addicted. Those are my five words. So for those of you playing at home, professional, conspiracy, ash, spectrum, and addicted. Those are my words. Okay, so now I save that photo so I don't lose it. This is my list. All right, John, hand it over. Hand it over, your turn. It was the studio. Was it the studio? I'm yeah. going to go to Prince. I wasn't sure if you, I'm gonna go to you knew. I am generating. I am generating the words right now. Nug, can you hear me? You are a jerk. No, you can't hear me. We're good. First word is violation. Sustain. Wording. Carpet. And post. Violation. Sustain. Wording. How am I going to tell them to say wording? Carpet and post. <laughs> I think he's listening to the studio. Oh, hang on, I got to the good part here. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> okay, 
<laughs> it's good. Now, Esther's go Esther, you wrote the words down? She did. Great. Okay. And Thank the you, first Esther. word that he wrote down. No, what? no. No. <laughs> Sorry. I thought I'd So get a I'm quick sure people will there. react when words get <laughs> said. This we don't know. We don't know. We don't know what's gonna happen. We don't know. So I'm gonna try and keep it tight. I'm gonna start the timer. Okay. You ready? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to One Dollar Words. My guest and contestant tonight is Food Network host John Catucci. Let's hear for John Catucci, everybody. Hi, everyone. Thank you for coming. Happy Fan Expo. Uh, John. Yes. Uh, how many, when we were waiting to come in here tonight, people stopped you for photos. Yes. Uh, well, is that awkward? I mean, not, I mean, sometimes. Like, when you're in a bathroom, it's weird. Yeah. Yeah. I imagine. It's very weird. You know, like, you're like, can I wash my hands first? But uh, do you, like, t Fan Expo... It was announced you were here, yeah. but do you get it in like at the grocery store at a weird time of day? Like, uh, do you get it? I mean, it's. I, I, I was at a restaurant yesterday in Port Hope, and I got it there a couple of times. I was just went in there for lunch, so I got that. It, it, it does happen. It's weird. I remember uh, years ago, uh, I was uh, out on the street with my mom, and somebody came up to us and said, hey, I, we really, I would really like to show. Can we take a photo? Everything's great. And the guy laughed, and then my mom's like, who was that? And uh I was like, oh, I don't know, somebody who liked the show. The show. And she's like, well, you don't introduce me? <laughs> and I was like, okay, you made your point. And so the next time it happened, I was like, excuse me, this is my mother. <laughs> <laughs> you have to. You have to. to be cordial. You have to be nice. Uh, when you are out being not TV John Katuji, yes, and you're doing whatever, do you have to turn it on? Like, oh, no, oh, they know me from TV, so now I have to be nice? Yeah. Sure. Act like not a clown? Yeah, not a jerk. Yeah, sometimes you just want to yell at people. No, I don't. I love, I love everyone. Are we, hold on a minute, just before. Are we playing now? Yeah. So you, I could have said a word already. Maybe. No, no. Just, you just keep. Just check them off. Oh. Keep us honest. No, you'll never know. Yeah. Until the end. Yeah. Um, I run a tight ship. You do run a tight <laughs> ship. Uh, uh, I was at your condo not long ago. Just visiting, yes. Just visiting. I can't remember. Do you, is, it, is it hardwood that you have? Or do you have... Um... <laughs> this is John's way of trying to lead me down a path. <laughs> I'm horrible at this game. Terrible Why would you ask game? me to play this game? You answered the phone. <laughs> uh, John, we've no, I, we looked it up the other night. I'm never gonna, and, how am uh, I gonna, hold on a second. Esther Chung, who is here tonight keeping us honest on our books. <laughs> Esther will lose her mind when we say this. But I looked it up and I asked you before, do you know how long we've known each other? 20 plus years. Yes. 25? Plus. 26? <laughs> Higher. This isn't Price is this Right. This is not Price is Right. No, I'll tell you. Uh, we, did a sh we auditioned for a play together at York yes. University in 1994. So it's almost 30 years that you and I have known each other. We auditioned for this play, and everybody else at the callbacks knew each other from the play last year, and they're all high-fiving and shaking hands, and everybody's buddies, and me and him don't we not only don't other. know each other, but don't know anybody else, and all of a sudden we're like, hey, we're friends now. Yeah. And that is 30 years of this. 30 years? It's nuts. That's a lot. Remember when we had uh, hair? And not gray yeah. anything? Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out how to use these words. <laughs> <laughs> That's part of the challenge, John. Is challenge a word? I don't know. Oh, but you said it. Yeah, so I yeah. like. I feel like if I say one of these words and go, how do you pronounce this? Like, yeah. You're, that's a <laughs> stupid way to get somebody to say something. Uh, John, I, you uh, not you were Food Network for two different shows for a long time. Yeah. How many seasons both shows? So uh, You Gotta Eat Here was five seasons. Thank you. Uh, and, uh, and Big Food Bucket List was three seasons. Do you feel like you left some stuff unbucketed? <laughs> I think there's a few buckets that still have not been filled or emptied. But when you fill a bucket, like, does that mean you're dead? Like, that's your bucket list. I know. So are you trying to fill a bucket or empty? It's, it's filling, right? You're filling I in the bucket? I think so. I don't want to die with an empty bucket, it sounds like. Sure. <laughs> All right. Which I always thought was weird that you would, like, associate dying with the food I was eating. So if you have a bucket <laughs> list and you die and you get cremated, does everything go in the bucket? Uh, we, we would hope so. All of it? Not most of it. I mean, I've gained a little bit of weight. Um, any of these words? No. Nope. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, uh, so, but before you, Food Network, yeah. uh, you uh, started a comedy duo at York. Yes. With our friend Dave Messiano. Dave you guys Messiano's were called the doo -wops. The doo -wops, yes. And you were... Um, Thank you. You were uh, <laughs> what I would call uh, offensive Italian comedy. Yeah, I would also... Yes, I would say that. I mean, I would say... 
I, not, I, is the Italian in the offensive part, or is the no, comedy? No, I think it's Itali- two. It's two separate things. It's Italian comedy that happens to be offensive. Offensive because we're Ita- no, 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 because you used filthy words. Like we did, but we can't because there there's children, children here, here so I won't say those words. I'm not gonna say those words. There were songs that we sang you that were not look them up. television friendly. You learn them on the playground. But like at I the did. same time, I was doing the doo wops. Yes, I was on a kids CBC show called the doodle bops yes and that was confusing for a lot of a lot people. of people were confused i brought my kid to see your show and you're so filthy yeah yeah uh so i played bus driver bob I, on the doodle I bops do and remember. i drove a bus and i brought all the doodle bops to different gigs and your catchphrase was hey doodles no was that it it was get on the bus that's what it was that was it yeah that was his catchphrase. <laughs> and then our friends all did impressions of john going hey doodle beeps <laughs> get on the bus <laughs> Uh, I'll never forget we were doing a show with Second City uh, in the middle of nowhere, somewhere in some theater, and there was a bar across the street after the show, and me and another one of the actors were both single. Yes. And you were not. Yeah. And you were at the table with us. Yeah. And the very cute waitress came and gave us our drinks, and we were like, oh, thanks so much. And she's like, oh, I saw you on TV. I saw you in these commercials. And me and him were like, oh, thanks. And then John leans over and goes, uh, uh, get on the bus. <laughs> and she reacts, no reaction at all. And John goes, don't have kids? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Still remember that. Still remember. Those are so fun. When, Falls. when you go from go filthy ahead. comedy yep. to bus driver Bob, uh-huh. do you hope everybody can see your range? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And get other acting parts? Oh, I would hope so. You know, Just and any, then anywhere in there? Yeah. And then you would like, you know, you would hopefully now using your social media stuff, you're trying to 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 put stuff online, right? Like I don't know if you saw the last one I did. I don't pay attention to your social media. No, no. It's all gardening. Yeah, it's gardening and food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you don't stray from your brand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm not a chef, but watch me cook. Like every show you did, yeah. introduced you started it by saying, "I'm not a chef," I and things. then come watch me eat, and everybody yeah. went cool. Yeah. <laughs> but now you're on your own <laughs> social media making food. Well, I learn things. Watching other people cook. Oh yeah, I know. Uh, you don't put spice in anything. You I don't. Cook. I can't eat spice. You can't. I'm a so, wimp. I'm, so a, I'm a child. I'm what a child. happened on the show? What happened on the show when something spicy came to the table and you had to taste it and go, "This is delicious." I was like, "Oh, what's this? Pepper? Um, <laughs> too much. <laughs> too I much. Looked at, I looked at pepper. <laughs> I I was okay with it until we were at a restaurant in Windsor, at a barbecue restaurant in Windsor, and we made a, a barbecue sauce with ghost peppers, <laughs> and I thought, I'm, "I'll taste it." And I put like my, like a little spoon in, and I went, and it was like, okay, okay. And then a punch in the face. I felt like I got punched in the face. We had to stop shooting for like a half hour. I had to chug milk, I ate bread. I was like, why would you make me do this? I was, and then I was done from then. So then after that, do you continue to taste food unable to taste because you're more well, rubbing up? For, the, for that day, I was, <laughs> but the best was the next day, we're interviewing customers and I, there's a woman who's putting that sauce on some chicken wings. I'm like, just be careful because that's super spicy. And she's like, no, it's not. It's not. <laughs> and I was like, I'm a wimp. I am a, I am a wimp. <laughs> Are any of these words going to be ever, well, I don't. That's you. This is on you. Your words list is your They're words They're awful list. words. That's on you for choosing those words. I didn't choose that. The generator chose them. On your phone. Um, good point. When, That's you, a good point. when you are at a restaurant, <laughs> yes. I've asked, talked about this with you many times. When you're at a restaurant and the owner is just off camera as his hand-picked chef has made you a dish yeah. and you taste it and it's the dirt worst thing you've ever tasted, <laughs> what do you have to do? Because you can't go, oh, terrible. You can't do that. You have to keep it. You have to keep it. Yeah, you got to smile through. I mean, yeah. like I was going to say like. 99.99999 the stuff was 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 really good. Would I have ordered that dish if I went into a restaurant, right? Like not everything is your palate. That's what I learned on this show as well. Was that sometimes you just order wrong. When you go into a restaurant and you think, "Ah, oh, this this is not you just ordered wrong. It wasn't your palate." So that specific dish maybe wasn't my palate, but you can find something nice to talk about. Oh, what is what is that salt? Yeah. You can just do stuff. 
I did. I always told John I could tell. I knew your tells like if it was poker. If you didn't like it, you just listed every ingredient you watched him put it's in the true. dish. That's not true. Oh yeah, you can taste the kale and it's the rutabaga and like you just listed everything. And what? Is, oh yeah, the the salt really comes through. Oh, that ketchup and that tomato sauce yeah. is really great. That secret ingredient is that brown sugar. Um, <laughs> But also, my favorite time ever was we were at a wedding. I don't want to say where in case it outs sure. the restaurant or yeah. the, even the area it was in. Yeah. We were at a wedding, and John was going to crash the wedding, but couldn't. he was close, uh, but he couldn't get out due to the schedule. And I always told John, if you taste something terrible, just text me what it is. Don't, t- don't say where you are. Don't just send me the name of the dish. And we were at that wedding, and he's like, oh, I can't make it tonight. And then five minutes later, I got a text that said, clam poutine. Oh, yeah. And then I said, what color was the gravy? And he said, gray. Yeah. That's how you know it's good. It's good. Delicious gray gravy. The, the, the gray means it's fresh. Uh, the gray is in the name gravy. It, it, if the poutine, I mean, if the clams, like fried, you know, French fries, delicious. Gravy, delicious. Clams on themselves, I like it. If the f- clams were fried. Go on. Sure, why not? But they were more like steamed so you know when you eat a bad calamari and it's gummy and it's like ang, 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 when you no, bite into you. it? No, thank you. No, it's, thank you. It was that, but in poutine form. So then all these places you've been, all these things you've eaten, yeah. Did you have you developed a taste for something that you're like, I got to eat that now, like I have to? Not that I got to eat the place, but like I ate this one thing and surprise, I like it, and now I order it all the time? Oh, that's a good question. Um, thank you. Thank you. You're very good at what you do. Um, I think like a, a – when I first started doing the show, I wasn't really into like curries. You know what I mean? Like, because in my head, I'm like, this curry's gonna be super spicy, and right. I'm not gonna enjoy it. But finding like those curries that are super mellow but still super flavorful at the same time. Uh, there's a restaurant, a, 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 a Royal Thai cuisine restaurant in Toronto called Kin, and they do, and it's it's the cuisine that was created to serve Thai royalty. Right. So I felt at place, right? I, I was like, of course, Thai royalty. Uh, there's keys to it. There is all the proteins have to be completely deboned, so you, you the the royalty doesn't have to chew too much with their food. You know what I mean? You don't want them to work too hard when they're you gotta eating. Got to be able to eat this curry with a straw. Yeah, the curries have to be super flavorful, but not too spicy because the the you don't want the royalty to sweat. Right. Uh, and they had this 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 curry that we had there that was just spectacular. And I've been back a couple of times. One of the most delicious restaurants. This is a pro I've tip: if you like to. curry but you don't want to burn your mouth off, get that royal curry. Royal Thai. Royal Thai, royal Thai curry. cuisine at Kin. Just I like it. so delicious. Wow. So right. delicious. Like have it. you said? Have I said any of the words that are on your list? I will never tell. Because <laughs> so uh, at your house. Go on. Your flooring. Yes. <laughs> I have flooring. This is the most fun. Is it hardwood or is it that? Do you mean cement? No, above, <laughs> on top of the cement. With people on it? No, the, 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 it's below furniture? the people. The Below the furniture is? Laminate? No, it's uh, maybe underneath. John, oh. you were in comedy. <laughs> so bad When at this you were doing game. the doo-wops. So bad. Go ahead. You, you did the doo-wops with Dave. You sang songs, uh, offensive, Italian, yeah. whatever. Yeah. But then you got, I remember you being on, was it a full Italian Just for Laugh show? Or was it a yeah, it was called the show? Wise. So I did the Wise Guys show, which was like a touring show. Then there was the ethnic show at uh, at Just for Laughs itself. And we got, was ethnic a word? I don't know. Was show a word? I don't know. So uh, right below the chair here. So you tour, but you toured. I remember you going to Australia. On yeah, tour. we got to tour Australia. With who? Who was on the gig? I don't want now. I, now I don't want to say anything. Person's names aren't on the list. Oh, there was a bunch of people there that uh, um, that I uh, can't remember. <laughs> it was wow. You think that was a long, twenty five years That's ago true, at least. Yeah. I'm an old person there. But you did that. You did Australia. Where else did you go? Uh, you we went the, to the UK as well. And uh, how which were you received in the UK? It was weird because um, uh, everybody seemed angry. <laughs> it was just a, it was angry. A lot, yeah, it was, it was, everybody seemed. Like there was this, like it felt like London felt like there was going to be a fight, all right? the time. <laughs> all the time. That it was just like I don't know if I fit in here. I don't know. And we took. Oh my gosh, so we took this drive. We got this ride back. <laughs> oh my, you just remembered. We we were shoot. We we were playing at a club outside of London. Right. By South End by the Sea it was called, and we went to go to the space and we, we were were rehearsing and we realized. So my buddy Dave played guitar. We both sang and we would have to plug in to the sound system. And as he's playing his guitar, you can hear that the speaker is already blown. 
and we're like, oh no, this is awful. We, we, this is what we need two mics and speakers <laughs> and the guitar to play the songs. And it sounds awful. So now everybody thinks we sound awful. So they don't, they're not into us. So we're like, oh my God, this is our first gig. We've traveled all the way across. This is our first gig. Oh my, what are we doing here? We get to drive back into town from this, uh, these, this other comic and he's driving another comic as well. We're coming in, we're, dri- we're sitting in the back seat and the guy who's driving misses an exit. And instead of dropping us off at the outskirts of London, now he's driving into London proper. And he's like, oh man, we, I missed it. I guess I'm driving you in. And both Dave and I are like, oh, thanks so much. That's really nice of you. But the guy in the passenger side doesn't say thank you. So the driver loses his mind. <laughs> because he didn't say thank you. Because this guy didn't say thank you. So you don't say thank you, but the, our, our cousins from across the pond say thank you, oh, and you don't Canadian? say thank you. And we're like, oh, where are we? This is our first night yelling matches like we've never met these people before in our lives and the flooring at that place yeah was not hardwood oh you wouldn't be weird it was to have something a, else a stage that wasn't hardwood oh, man i hate this game this um, is a, i feel like i'm saying all the things when you and do I wanna... the when you did the wise guy show go ahead it was all italian people all yes, Itali- all, all Italian, Italian comics. Acts. Yes, all so Itali- it's just the same. Dom Marrera was on. I don't know if oh, you know, know Dom was a really yeah. good guy. But like, uh, is it all the same? Like, no, everybody had their like. It's not like everybody was. You everybody was talking game. about pasta. Go it's on. not that. It's oh. not that. Uh, but I imagine a few good pasta jokes. Oh man, there is some great pasta. Like, jokes. tell me one. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, uh, I don't have oh, yeah, any okay. good pasta. Right, was great. that a word? The oh, pasta I word? Maybe. I don't have any money on me. That's the thing. I didn't bring any money on. We take PayPal. Um, <laughs> uh, so now, you can, we, can we can we do a quick photo? You and me? Yeah. If you I want to. I just want to put it. I want to put it online. I think this is gonna be a really good. Uh, whatever they call it. What do they call it when you put something online, like on on Instagram? <laughs> it's not gonna like, happen. <laughs> like it's not, not a happen. reel or a story. It's. Uh, be real. That's on be real. No. It's uh. <laughs> Uh, Damn it. Oh, you're probably talking about threads. No, I'm not um, talking about threads. The X? Are you putting it on the X? No. Are you it? Always, first of all, it would always be Twitter. What? Like, it's always Skydome. Yeah, tw- okay, I'm on board Okay, thank uh, you. We're not far from there right now. We're not. Um, when you, so that was, you did the, He's never did the Italian show. Yeah. But then was there a, do I remember an all just an ethnic show? There was, yeah. I think we did an ethnic show in, uh, in Montreal at Just for Laughs as and well. And that was... That was all ethnicities. <laughs> that was a long show. Yeah. Every I, ethnicity was every, represented. Every single one. Um, every single one. But is that – does that – does that pigeonhole you or does it – I mean, I think it – I don't know if it pigeonholed us. I, I, we tried – I think at the beginning of our doo-wop career, we were like, hey, let's do all Italian stuff because that's what we knew. Yes. And then we were like, we need to expand a little bit because then outside of the Italian community, nobody's going to know who we are. True. Uh, and I, I think we kind of were able to expand and grow with that, right? Yes. Let's see if any words. Uh, now, when you started oh, com- yes. doing comedy, yep. w- uh, we were coming out of York. You were in a group of people. Yep. Five in the group? Yes. They were called Performance Anxiety. Yes. And then there was another group of four called Dead Kid Did It. Dead Kid Did It. Very funny. And then there was a – I was in a duo called Nug Mutter. Not so funny. Not great. And then we would just all take turns opening for each other. We would book these shows and yeah. make make ourselves look like a big deal. Yeah. It's Dead Kid Did It with opening acts, performance anxiety, and Nug Mutter. And then the next week and then it's the next Nug Mutter with <laughs> Dead Kid Did It, performance anxiety. And people will go, wow, they work a lot. They have opening acts. And, like, it just – we tried to – It made to, us look bigger than we were. It's like we were Triumph just using pyro when we were nothing, right? <laughs> Uh, and then from that, we did all these shows with all of these comedians, and we got to know all these comedians who maybe look down on sketch, but they're all our friends now. Yes. And, like, I thought about it the other night. Like, Russell Peters opened one of those shows. That's right, yeah. Like, we did, we did, so he's when, left us in the dust. Yeah, when we, we did a cross-Canada tour with Just for Laughs, and Russell was the MC on that tour. And it was, just, it was the tour just before he exploded. Right. And so that was a great – Jeremy Hotz was, was the uh, headliner on that. Um, uh, Adam Bloom from the U.K., Mike Britt from the States, Joe Starr was from the States as well. It was an amazing tour. And we went everywhere, and uh, we went right across Canada, uh, and it was like 32 different shows that we did uh, that, that year. It was a lot of fun. It was like we 
uh, I quit my day job. I had a day job. Uh, at Where? City, at City TV. And what were you doing? I was a traffic coordinator. Which means? Which means you... Scheduled the commercials. Yeah. And then you... Is any? No. Nope. Then he would... But I loved when John... John worked in the commercial department. He'd schedule the commercials. And then when there was a gap where it's like, you have to run every commercial so many times. Sure. When there was a gap, if we were in a commercial, he'd shove one of us into the gap, like one of our commercials, so that we get an extra nickel out of our residuals that way. We... Uh, also, when I started working there, I figured out it was it was a very office job. But I figured out early on in my career there that you could dial out uh, using your phone and then dial back in to the to your office, so it sounded like it was an outside line. So I would always crank call my coworkers, which was a lot of fun. Um, also, one time we would because uh, I worked with commercials, we would always get these weird phone calls about people complaining about <laughs> the, the commercials. I do. I do remember uh, this. And, like, it, we just, uh, I don't know why you would air that commercial that's so rude or this and that. So I got Nuggy to call one of my coworkers and complain about the uh, Marineland commercials <laughs> and say how ru how sad it was that those whales were stuck in you captivity. Gotta take that. You, have, you have to take that off the air. <laughs> those whales look so sad in those tanks. I can't, you must take, who can I talk to? Who's and in charge? All I, hear, all I hear is my friend Janna who's sitting, we're here, so there's four people sitting in this and she's sitting here. And all I hear is, uh, yes, sir. Um, uh, but no, sir, I, um, I, don't, I don't have any control over the whales, <laughs> sir. Uh, I don't, I don't, and then she hangs up and she's like, oh my God, oh, I just don't, somebody just, and then I just started crying and she was like, fuck you. She was, <laughs> upset. She was very upset at me. And then a couple of weeks later, I get this phone call from this very angry person, and she's complaining about the uh, some uh, like Sudafed commercial or something like that. How can you s uh, sell this to children? Don't you know if you were a parent, wouldn't you be upset about this? And I'm like, yes, ma'am, of course. And I hang up. I'm like, oh my god. And then Jana turns around. She looks at me. She goes, fuck you. <laughs> she got her mother to call me. <laughs> she got me back. So it was years we'd call John at work. She, just bug him. Yes, and, and because it felt. I want to say the words, Maybe. but I can't say my words. John, I have not set any rules for this. You want to say the word and hope I repeat it, go can you nuts. Can you just say the top? <laughs> <laughs> What's this say? <laughs> like I'm not, I love that idea. And whatever you can do just to say the word. I just want you to say what the, the covering of the floor is. It looks That's like shag. Shag what? Yeah, like a, like a stripey shag. Maybe a low pile. Um, so we do all these shows. It's unfair. Uh, you brought up Russell. I went to a wedding in Vegas and Russell was the DJ. Yeah. And then on the way home, I was in the first seat of coach, but Russell was in the last seat of first class and the curtain was in between us. That's not, that's and nothing. And I'm sitting beside someone I don't know and the whole flight, Russell Peters is coming around the current corner of the curtain going, I only took one bite out of this sandwich now. Do you want, <laughs> I'm just gonna throw it out if you don't want it. And I'm like, get that sandwich out of here. And this other guy's like, you know Russell Peters? And I'm like, yeah, do you want a bite of his sandwich? <laughs> the whole, like the whole flight, every 10 minutes he'd be like, I just drank half a did Coke. That guy do you feel, want did the guy who was sitting beside you feel like you were invading his space at all? No. No? He loved it. He was Did a he? huge fan of Russell. Got a picture with him after. Yeah. We snuck through security. <laughs> Russell was like, there was a huge lineup, and Russell goes, this never works, but I'm going to try it. And there's Russell and his cousin and me and this stranger. And we go up to security, and there's a nice security guard, huge line of people. And he goes, excuse me. And this nice old lady goes, I know who you are. <laughs> and Russell goes, oh, thanks. Uh, is this the line? Am I in the right place? And she goes, how many? And he goes, four. And she goes, come with me. And we skip the whole line. Awesome. And Russell's like, that's never worked. It's never worked. It's amazing. What was the flooring like there? <laughs> oh, cement. Uncomfortable. What, really? You're just going to lean hard on this one word the whole time. Can I uh, Can is there are there rules against asking help from the audience? I have set no rules. John, this is the debut of this show. I've set no rules. I've only said if you can get me to say a Gentlemen word. Gentlemen there with the uh, Under Armour shirt. Would you mind just coming up here really quick? Don't you don't no, no, you no. dare. You can come up really quick. He's putting his sandwich oh, back a, on. We have a he's microphone over here. Yeah. You can just grab that microphone. But I need him to come here and look. He's part of Under he, Armour. Under he's, Armour. He's from the company. No. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> look at these words. How would you get me, how would you get him to say any of those words? You can't, right? It's a bull, it's bullshit, right? 
You just yeah. use your microphone. Yeah, yeah. It, it would it would be a total violation of all the rules. Yeah, yeah. which set are so far. There's yeah. no rule. There's no rule. I, I think you did it wrong. <laughs> Go sit down. Because John, you were just go down. Uh, just on, Under Armour just did not John, pass the not, mic back to. I may not have set rules, but like I run a tight ship. <laughs> you very run a tight ship. How 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 much time do we still have? We have tw- uh, I don't know five minutes or so. Damn it! I so mean, let's I've get to the end so of your much. life since that's where we are. <laughs> um, so now your bo- your food shows are over. Food shows are over right now. We did so yeah. Big food bucket list did not get picked up. Boo. 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 Food network. Boo. It's okay, guys. Eight seasons of him eating food will run forever. It's ever, forever and ever and ever ever. And what do you get out of that? A nickel every show? I wish. Okay. Um. Uh. But right now I am. Uh. I'm an old Italian man in my garden. I I started pickling this year. <laughs> I did cute. Thank you. I did beets. Thank you. <laughs> Trying to get no. people to clap for vegetables? Yeah. Be- I did uh, cucumbers, so I did pickles. So I did pickle pickles. Right. Uh, I did, um, oh, I did, uh, I, t- I had a bunch of uh, cherry tomatoes that I confied. I, we, at your birthday party, my wife and I had one of those cherry tomatoes. Were they delicious? They were delicious. Well done, John. What I, do you put on them? Like, what do you, when you <laughs> I don't want to answer gar- anything. When you're gardening, <laughs> what's the secret? Because you work with a gardening company. Or yes. like you had somebody come over and teach you what to do. Yes, the Good Seed Toronto uh, TO was helping. Is it a compost? Is it a fertilizer? Like, what do you do to make these vegetables so tasty? <laughs> uh, and I, I just uh, like uh, the idea of saying things a certain way, so he thinks I'm leading him to say words too. That's my favorite. I hate this. I know. I, just, I feel uh, the anxiety so that this. Is, I'm sweating so much right now. Cool as a cucumber, baby. Pickled? No. Oh. Uh, I, I use like a natural fertilizer this what year. What does that mean? It's like it's. <laughs> I no, I don't know what it means. Nothing. It's just like it's like uh, uh, seawater stuff and things like that. And seawater yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like well, it's well, stunk. Just it's stu- g- garbage. Garbage, it's, it's, garbage it's very, water. It's very stinky. It's so very stinky. It, like it was a very compost? Good. No, not like a compost. I don't compost any compost anything. It's just like a. It's it like sounds like you liquid, hate the environment. Liquid, <laughs> liquid fertilizer. Natural liquid fertilizer supplements that I add to the soil. Like pills. Not pills. <laughs> like you shove. I shove supplements like, into yeah, the supplements. soil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so seawater. It's seawater and some other stuff. I don't like know. Like what? I don't know. I just tell I just, give the people some just gardening the advice. Here, That's why they're the here. Advice they I came to you. Fan Expo just, for gardening advice. Just love your garden. Go on. Tend to it. Listen to it. Walk out every morning to look at stuff. With your tomatoes, you have to really. When you're out watering the driveway? When you're watering the driveway, first water the garden. Uh, you're pruning your tomatoes. Don't You can't prune enough. Right. Uh, you have to really thin out your cu- your your carrots. So is this your new obsession? Every this day? is my new obsession right now. Is you my garden? You can't go a day without gardening. It, it's funny. You leave. Uh, I fa- I swear to God, I I I, I missed a a, uh, a zucchini in my garden that I forgot to harvest. It's bigger than a baby. And just as tasty. <laughs> That's one of those restaurants you went to that maybe once. you don't tell you just people. Go once. You, know, like, you just go once. This can't be on the show. Yeah, I the chef told me to check out this place. <laughs> we had baby. <laughs> it was delicious. It's the sear on it. It's really nice. Um, uh, but then I get, it was like, the, the, it was massive. It was a massive zucchini. Uh, but that, so, yeah. Just a net, so seawater with stuff in it, supplements. I wish I, I wish I knew what they were. It, it Honestly, it came in a box. And it's all liquid fertilizer that you mix together, like certain percentage, and then you you, you pour it on every three weeks. This is the first year I've done it uh, regularly, and it's really helped with my 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 crop. I know you guys are really excited about this That's conversation. Why they <laughs> fan Expo people, people at Fan Expo are very interested in very specific subjects, like the anime, the comic bookeries, the gardening, the gardening. The Listen, food television my shows? tomatoes were great this year. Cucumbers were great this year. Uh, carrots were great this year. So I had a did lot you of grow garlic. Everything? I got. I'm not telling you. Beets. Somebody booed on beets. I won't. Uh, I won't How accept that. You. How dare you? They're vegetables I, too. They are. They're nature's. I can't say the word. Um, you, if <sighs> forget it. Laminate. <laughs> They're nature's laminate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, John, uh, we're going to close up here pretty soon. Go so ahead. You got, like, this might be the speed round of you trying to get me to say some things. Have um, you ever felt in a position where somebody got into your place 
in like space personally and did you feel like <laughs> you were maybe <laughs> this is the best you're so uncomfortable i just i i just i, I remembered how awful at improv i am <laughs> John Katsuchi. <laughs> uh, John Katsuchi doing a show with us in Muskoka with Second City. And we're playing, there's an improvised version of Jeopardy you can play. And uh, where the host uh, turns to the audience and goes, uh, uh, this Jeopardy introduces our contestants, three fake names. And then we go, let's go to the category. And uh, the, you get to pick the first category. And whoever the contestant goes, ah, I'll take um, food that starts with F for 400. And then you go to the audience and they go, Fingerling potatoes, and then they try to make a joke, like what is, and they try and make a joke about fingerling potatoes. Katucci would never ring in because he was scared <laughs> to have to get the category it was, it was so because he's terrible at improv. I'm awful at it. And so he, which rang I'm not in, really, but I just don't like it. But if you ring in and nice. you get a good answer, you're in. You're, that's like, oh yes, that's right. You're in charge of the next category. So I was hosting one night. John had one good answer for the first time ever. <laughs> And then I go, correct, you choose the next category. And John went, oh, God. Uh, <laughs> panic, pure panic. And then John goes, <laughs> John says, I'll take summertime sandwiches for 700. <laughs> and everyone in the room went, what the hell is a summertime sandwich? What sandwich? Only in the summer. Watermelon, obviously. A watermelon, a watermelon sandwich. sandwich. Summertime with sandwich. feta. You put two slices of we watermelon with feta, and it's a sandwich. For a long time, talk about starting a band called Summertime Sandwiches. Yeah, it would have been great. Right? It would great be great. name for a fantasy baseball team, too. Yeah. Uh, John, uh, how, how have you found this tonight? This is the first episode Listen, of this. Listen, I had a great time. Did you enjoy it, uh, Fan Expo fans? I'm going to tell you right now. I owe him a lot of money. Uh, uh, how did you enjoy it? I've enjoyed it because while you've been a clown yeah i've tried to keep it tight seriously should i wear a tie for this no should i wear glasses for yes. this would i look better glasses no shirt tie <laughs> does that scream i'm in charge oh yeah it screams you're a lot of don't lot don't of mess with me because show I, hosts wear like a tie and look important is did you uh did I fall into your trap of saying words by you being so comfortable in your conversational skills? I don't know. Did you? Did I? <laughs> Are we just playing questions now? <laughs> um, John, thank you for being here. Thank you, Thank you for Michael. doing the show. John, uh, tell the people where they can find you on the social media. Uh, you can find me on Instagram and on Twitter, and it's just John Catucci. You can find me making focaccia. I'm making a lot of focaccia lately. Uh, watch it's it. Look at my garden. At his birthday party, we all made a pact to not say it was good, but it was very good. It was good. very good. Uh, and on Twitter, I'm just uh, shitting on uh, Doug Ford all the time. So that's a lot of fun. That is, so another, like... that is another favorite thing of mine. John, who is known for being Food Network or whatever, makes a post about Doug Ford, and in inevitably somebody online goes, stick to food! <laughs> stick to f I follow you for food reviews, not politics. So they're like, oh, way to, way, to, uh, way to undermine your fans. You lost half of your fans with that post. <laughs> I'm like, I did? You did? Great. Um, my, I, but then now John will just post like, having a great day making focaccia, everybody, and I'll go, stick to food! <laughs> Oh, wait, you are. Never mind. Stay in your lane. Stay in, stay stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. Your lane is food only. <laughs> Imagine someone, some stranger telling you that you cannot post you can't, you, anything else. You cannot. You're not allowed. No. <laughs> thank, thank God the Twitter cops are out there yeah, for us. Yeah, thank you, Twitter cops. Uh, John, uh, let's... Uh, are we Let's tallying do, it up? Are we tallying we're gonna tally it up? tally it up. Okay. Uh, I know what my number is. Do you know what your number is? Uh, one. For real? Yeah. What, Esther, how many did I get? What? How many? Where'd you just get one? Just now. He just did it. Oh, you're right. Oh, I just did it. What did I say? You said post. Yeah, you post. Said post. Great. Woo! I owe him a dollar. the best! Uh, Esther, how many did I get? 50 cents. Like a half a word? Oh, professional. Yeah, okay, so I, shall we say what the words were? Yes, so we what know? were your words, John, other okay. than other than carpet? <laughs> Damn it, how did you know? <laughs> it was violation. Violation? Good luck to you. Sustain. 
That's what I mean. All right. Wording. Carpet, which you should have said. Nice and one. post. Nice. Uh, mine, and I tried, I tried really hard on, I'm going to say th four of them I tried hard on. Uh, professional. Yes. Uh, conspiracy. Oh. Ash. Oh. Spectrum. Yeah. And addicted were mine. Wow. I tried hard, but I That's got a, half, listen, a, half a pro, so you will take listen, a guess, the judge. This is tough. It's not, like, this is a tough game. You guys, not everybody can do it. And I think. I think we proved we, we both <laughs> can't. No. Um, I think. <laughs> I think we did a good job. Yeah. I, I think, think so. I think this is a really fun, fun thing that you put together here, Michael. I'm okay. very proud of you. Thank you very much. Uh, and for the first time doing it in front of a live audience, uh, I think that was a lot of fun. And they made it fun. You made a lot of fun. Yeah, so you give yourselves a round of fun. applause. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, this is a great format. Yeah. yeah. It just, I, I, there are interview podcasts. That you're like, great, it's an hour of talking. Yeah. But at least this keeps you interested. because like, oh, I wonder if he's going to say, it's like Pee Wee's Playhouse. So they're going to say the secret word? Yeah. There's five of those for but each of But then I them. didn't want to answer anything because I was worried. So this is, this is now my question as a contestant. Yeah. Now that the game is over, yeah. you don't have to worry about these words anymore. Are you legitimately if that afraid of losing a dollar that you're not going to say words? It's not so much that losing, it's not about the money. I mean, I know it's you're just unemployed. About, it's, I know I you're unemployed. Listen, guys. You're worried about losing a dollar. Right you got now. kids going to school. I'm not working right now. <laughs> I could use the dollar. Uh, <laughs> no, it's more like I don't like losing. Oh, I understand. That's, that's a competitive it. nature. It's the competitive nature. Why so really, it could, it could be, is it a dollar or is it an electric shock? You want me to hook up a shock collar? <laughs> To you, is there a fan? Is there a is there an exhibitor that's selling shot collars? Yeah, down there, aisle fourteen hundred. Nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I said that because I could see it right out the window. <laughs> uh, but uh, w you, since we're at Fan Expo, yeah. Uh, what have you? You're a nerdy in some ways. What are you looking forward to seeing out here? Uh, some of the really cool. Sorry, some of the really cool fan art and stuff that people. Oh, are Artist selling. Alley. The Artist, Artist Alley stuff best. is pretty amazing. Go check that out. I, I love was. Artist I Alley. mean, and seeing some of the cosplay and stuff that, yeah. that how talented some of the people are that yeah. have been here. I I parked my car somewhere far away, and I was like, am I going the right way? And as I was walking <laughs> to the elevator, a guy in a stormtrooper costume was walking right past me. I'm like, I think I'm going the right place. Yeah, I'm going the right way. I think I'm going the right way. We're uh, good. I love Artist Alley. Uh, I love uh, all the local people and vendors that are in Artist Alley. Uh, the Retro Kid booth is out there. I yeah, the very Retro cool. Kid guys. Very They're cool. great. Uh, but what's really cool for me is that I was recently at San Diego Comic Con, and it was like six times the size of this. That's too much. And not as good. Oh. Not as good. Don't shit. Fan Expo don't rules. Shit. Okay. Yes. Fan yeah. Expo rules. This San Diego, San Diego was not as good as this. This is the best. Uh, San Diego is like three football fields of the same. St it, it's almost like you're walking through a Flintstones cartoon, and the background's the same. Yeah. Everything's the same every so many feet. Yeah. And uh, and this is two spaces. That's one long space. It took an hour to walk from one end to the other. It was crazy. But this is nice. It's very community based. A lot of the community down there, like the 501st Legion and Bad Dog Theater, that does nerdy improv and stuff like that. All of that cool stuff is here. And uh, Sonar Network, thank you for bringing us in tonight. Thank you for having me. Thank you for ha so you owe me a dollar and I owe you a dollar. Let's call it even. I'll call it even. Yay! Thanks so much, everybody. This has been One Dollar Words. I'm Nug Nargang. Good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs> How am I supposed to get a violation? How? You couldn't say carpet. I didn't want to. <laughs> Did I make it too obvious? Oh, I there's a half a word. Half a word. What do you want? Fifty cents out of me? No, I just want. It's not called I, fifty cent words, John. I just want to know. I want everyone to know that I won. That's all I want. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Thanks a lot, everybody. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> I just want everybody to know. This podcast has been brought to you by the Sonar Network.